why would your government institute a policy that infringed on Canadians' rights uh, that didn't have scientific basis and then call a snap election a couple days later? You mean the non-scientific mandates that was implemented by municipal governments? You mean the non-scientific based mandates that was implemented by provincial governments? You mean the non-scientific based mandates that was implemented by the private sector without required from government? You mean the non-scientific based mandates that was implemented by universities? You mean the non-scientific based mandates? Rather than answering the question, Minister of Transport Omar Algebra decides to use his argument an appeal to popularity. If everyone else is doing it, it can't possibly be wrong, can it? Mr. Algebra maintained that ArriveCan was not to blame for the delays and chaos at the airports and warned that if we removed it today, that's right, if we removed ArriveCan app today, there'd be even more chaos and delays. Without ArriveCan, processing time for international arrivals would increase significantly. But I can assure you, if we suspend ArriveCan today, where it will add significant complications to the congestions that we have at our airports today. He repeatedly blamed labor shortage and not the ArriveCan app. It's not causing the congestions at our airports. Labor shortage is the root cause of labor or, or airport congestions. Labor shortage at airports, labor shortage at, uh, at airlines, labor shortage at, uh, at other agencies. Well, where did all that labor go anyways? Somewhere in the recesses of my mind, I have a repressed memory of a contingent of patriots that were no longer allowed to work. We're seeing similar phenomena around the world. This is not just unique to Canada. Great excuses, Omar, while Pearson in Toronto takes the cake for the world's worst airport. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and share this video out so more people become aware of the utter mendacity of those who purport to rule us. The science was brought up as Mr. Algebra quoted from two recent Canadian studies, and so was the about face that the CDC in the U.S. has done recently. Just the last two months, two different studies. One was done by the Canadian Medical Association. One was done by UBC, the University of British Columbia, that demonstrated that these public health measures, including mandates, protect the health and safety. Over 60 countries around the world have abandoned all of their air travel pandemic restrictions, including most of our European allies. It's the CDC uh, in the United States, who, with whom we share a border, um, says that it makes the most sense not to differentiate between the... I guess the science is just different here. And how about the pesky hypocrisy of mask mandates still in effect on planes and trains? We're doing everything we can to protect the health and safety of Canadians, and it is the prudent thing. In fact, it's the kind thing to do well, to protect... Ten seconds. Those Please, Minister. Sitting next to you, Minister, uh, your, pri your your Prime Minister was was seen not wearing a mask on a train just mere mere weeks ago. Was that not prudent or kind? We live in the age of mendacity. We've seen our highest officials display hypocrisy of the highest order, all the while the man on the street suffers. I chalk it up to an age of decadence and degeneration. There's an evil. There is a rot in our society and it is our duty to expel it. They want us to be apathetic. They want us to feel beaten, brethren. But we refuse. Remember the age-old ideals that we celebrate here at the war campaign. Honor, accountability, integrity, and loyalty. Hail, brethren, and hail freedom. Take heart, take courage, and never surrender. To keep this thing going, we need your help. We've always fought for freedom, whether it was in the culture war or in the political arena. Politics is downstream from culture. When the culture and media become degenerate, so do the politics. We wanted to create an epic historical fantasy that would rival the greats. So we put together the Vestige series. We need your help to fund this thing. I want to give you great product, a graphic novel that makes an amazing gift to the young people in your life, celebrating true heroism while entertaining the young and old. Go to WCFreedom.com to get on the mailing list. We need you, brethren.